we've, we've just heard uh, the news of the the death of Ian Paisley, and I'm sure there'll be lots of time for political analysis of his career and his part in our history and his involvement over uh, a very long time. But uh, I think now, today, it's uh, sufficient to recognise that this is a huge loss to his family, even though he lived a very, very long life, to his wife Eileen, to his children, to his grandchildren and great grandchildren have lost a husband, a father, a dadjo, and uh, a great grandfather. So I would just like on my own behalf and on behalf of Sinn Féin to extend uh, sympathy and solidarity at a personal level to the Paisley family. Uh, Martin McGuinness famously shared the office of First and Deputy First Minister with Ian for, I think, uh, uh, a, a year, and he might like to say a few words to Well, I, I'm truly very sad to hear that Ian Paisley has died, and I too want to extend my deepest sympathy to his wife Eileen and to his family. Uh, past history shows that we were political opponents, but uh, on this day, uh, I think I can say without fear and contradiction that I have lost a friend. Uh, I'd been to see Ian just a few months ago, went over to his house and had coffee with him. Uh, we spent several hours, himself and Eileen and myself, talking together. He was a very strong supporter of the peace process. And once he came into the office of First and Deputy First Minister, when we made the agreements that we made, he, he threw himself heart and soul into it. Uh, and I think that, uh, you know, our, our relationship confounded everybody. People were surprised that coming from diametrically opposed backgrounds, that uh, someone from the pro-British Unionist tradition and somebody from the pro-Irish Republican tradition could actually have a decent working relationship, but just as importantly, uh, a real friendship grew out of that. So I, I believe I've lost a friend today. I believe that the peace process has lost a friend. Uh, and for me, it's a very sad day.